Get ready to experience the Changing Earth audio drama, brought to you by an incredible lineup of podcasters and survivalists from across the country, including listeners like you. The next step. Erica! 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 Huh? Erica! What happened? Just grab my hand. What about you? Gotcha. We got there. Penny, check out her head. Come on, Erica. Let the boys worry about it. Wait, I can help. Erica, you're bleeding and half out of it. You really think you're going to be of any use right now? Come on. The bus is going to go. They're going to make it. Hold still now. Ow! Was that acid? It's just a little alcohol. It's actually not that bad. Just a bleeder right here on your hairline. You get a band-aid on that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. They got him. Get ready. Let me get out of the way. Penny, get that gauze ready. Oh my god. Just go. Holy shit, dude. I can't believe we made it. That was some crazy shit. Good job, guys. You doing all right there? Yeah. What happened? It was nuts, Mom. When we got to the bridge, the water was going right over it. Dad said we probably shouldn't cross it, but they tried it anyways. Just as we were across, whoosh, no more bridge. Team May was right behind us. They're gone. Mitchell and I ran down the edge of the river to see if we could find the bus. But there was no sign. Mitchell and Jen are still down there looking. Is Terrence the only one that was injured? Terrence and you. It's just a scratch. Infection will be a concern out here, but it should be fine. Team A is FUBAR. We're going to have to focus on our team's survival. Let's get a temporary camp set up so we have some place to move Terrence when he's stabilized. Good call. Nighttime will be here before we know it. Okay, then. You, Mitchell, and Jen put it together. We don't want to get flooded out or baked in the sun. Remember that the desert animals like the cool areas too. Clear the area for snakes, bees, rodents, or anything else that doesn't want us moving in. Shelter is my middle name. Vince, you, Star, and Kim start thinking about food. We need an inventory of what was salvaged and what we can scrounge around here. Dexter. Mom. I want you, Rob, and Roxy to do a water filter check. How many straws, canteens, and bags do we have? Harold, you and I need to talk to Sergeant Ponover. Okay. Let's get to it. Did you get what you needed? They had an industrial grinder for seed. <laughs> and so many seeds. We filled the whole transport with them. We're going to need more refugees to send up to the northern border. Henderson's adding another layer to the wall. I could use more men as well, and less women. With all these new ones, Lawner can rotate his whole stock over. You had connections with the cartel before the Great Quake. I heard Mexico and South America are paying premium for Americans. And maybe they have some men I can exchange for the women. Exactly. What do you think? I'll have to talk to Mr. Lee. I knew Jose and Javier. But Mr. Lee did business with their leadership. Some bad boys, too. Watch yourself, TJ. I've never had a problem with that in the past. <laughs> That's the last of them, TJ. I'll let you know what I come up with, Carl. Make it happen. Come on, Yuri. This is a hell district rolling out. Distant from myself, distant from the smell. What a stench of the truth. And it behooves me to be part of this group. Movie-like lifestyle, I'm young and I'm wild. What are you smiling about? Carl thinks we should start trading with Mexico. You think Javier is still alive? We can find Jose's crew, and we can find out. 
Someone's going to have to facilitate the introductions. Maybe you'll get lucky. Mr. Lee will send you. Maybe. Take me to him. Thank you, Mr. Lee. I won't let you down. TJ, sir. I didn't know you were back. Just got in. Where are you going in such a rush? Mr. Lee gave me a crew. We're going south after escapees. Bring them home, Nate. I will, sir. TJ, my boy. Good to see you, son. Did you see the grinder we brought home? Not personally, but Serge told me about it. Great score. If it helps keep pasta in my belly, it'll be worth it. Something else is on your mind. What is it? Carl wants more people. Inventory is low. Gray wants me to establish trade with Mexico. What's the chances of finding Jose's crew? I wouldn't even really know where to begin. But think about it, Mr. Lee. We could put a trade hub on the southern border. Then between that location, Tran, and Mexico, we could create a solid trade line. And our crews would never have to travel all the way out to Trans again. You have been thinking about this. I like it. It will be a trick to put together, though. The town to use will be Chattanooga, but Malik Mahir runs that territory. He rules with an iron fist. My kind of man. Why don't you take Laudner to negotiate the deal? Because I'm the commander of this operation, the people must see me, not him. <sighs> You're right, but you are going to take Serge and Yuri with you. And Ryan's team. Done. He's been working the southern border for a while, but TJ, don't pull your arrogant shit in Mexico. Just get the job done. Don't worry about me, Mr. Lee. Oh, but I do. trucks are ready to send to Empire. I'll send them out in the morning. I want all our forces in for the evening. The storm coming in is a concern. I'll let them know. Where's Johnny? Sir, I believe Private McClintock is over Dolores' place with Sergeant Chappie. <laughs> Not a bad idea for a restless night. Wrap up here. I'm calling it an early night. Are you sure, sir? We'll see how it goes. Very good, sir. Good evening, Major Burgess, sir. You got those buildings closed up for the storm? We're ready, sir. Hopefully it will pass quickly. Only time will tell. Have a nice night. You too, sir. Major Burgess, what a pleasure to see you tonight, sir. You're looking lovely as usual. And you're just as charming as usual. Come with me. Your boys are over there at the private table. Won't you please stay with us? Major Burgess, you know my responsibilities are many. I'm sure Dolores won't mind. Since you called all your forces in, I'm sure my time will be limited. Do what you need to do. I'll wait. A patient man. I like that. 
I'll be back, Major Burgess. Major, come and have a seat. What's the word, fellas? These girls just come in from a town up north looking for work. Oh, Lord. They're fine. He's not kidding, Burgess. I'll have to check it out. Where's Ginger and Monroe? I think Ginger went to bed early. And Monroe's in the back talking with Dolores. Why? I don't know. I think they're planning a baby shower. A baby shower? For who? Damn it, Johnny. For who, Chappie? Huh? What? Johnny, tell me what's going on. Ginger is pregnant. Monroe didn't want you to know yet. Why not? You should talk to him about that. Major, I have some free time available. You want to go upstairs? If we go up there, we're not coming down tonight. I'm sure the ladies can handle the floor. Come on. This conversation is not over, gentlemen. You tell Monroe he needs to talk to me. Yes, sir. I'll pass the message along. Come on, Cole. Leave your business for tonight. Sounds like a good idea. Come on. Please enjoy a quick word from our sponsors. Hey everyone, this is Phil Rabley from the Matter Facts Podcast, voicing the role of Cole Virgis. If prepping guns and politics sounds like your cup of tea, come check out the Matter Facts Podcast every Friday on iTunes, Stitcher, and Spotify with my co-host, Andrew Bobo. L. Douglas Hogan here, doing the voice of Swinson. You can also hear me on all major podcasting platforms at The Rising Republic. I'm also on YouTube, The Rising Republic Video Bites. I'll see you guys over there, and you have a marvelous day. Hey, fellow patriots, Bravo Echo here. Are you paying attention to what is happening in our great nation? Are you prepared? If not, come see us at HopeForSurvival.com. That's HopeForSurvival.com. Be safe and be blessed. Here on the homestead, we'd like to keep it simple. That's why we created Stasis. Your resource for the highest quality freeze-dried apples direct from the source. All of our fruits are hand-picked, hand-processed, and hand-packaged just for you. This is a variety of freeze-dried foods unlike anything you've ever tasted before. Find out more at stasis.vip. And now back to the Changing Earth Audio Drive. How's he doing? His legs are really torn up. But the femoral artery is intact. That gives him more time, but we still need to get help fast. Do you think we can move him? I don't think so. We're going to have to send someone for help. I agree. I have everyone setting up a temporary camp. That way we'll have someplace comfortable for him to wait until we can get help. Where are we? We're on the west side of the Zion National Park. We're not too far from Vegas. Thank God we made it past the river, or we would be having an entirely different conversation. Any sign of Team A? No sign of Team A, ma'am. Mitchell and Jen went to check, but they didn't find anything. That river is moving. I've never seen it like that. How many miles to Vegas? I'd say at least 140 miles to go. Why? Whoever is going to make that trip needs the water. Each person will need about 14 gallons of water for the trip. We can't carry that. And we don't even have that much. Our canteens filter the water, so you can carry river water and pour it into the canteens. Hopefully you can find more along the way. Carry what I can. Are you volunteering me? I think that's the best idea. You're the highest ranking officer, but I'm the leader of this team. I know their strengths and weaknesses better than anyone. I'll send two recruits with you, but I think it should be you. I was hoping to stay with Terrence. Uh, I mean, the sergeant. That's why you should go. You have the most motivation to get there quickly. You're right. Who's coming with me? Mitchell and Star. They can both go the extra mile. Take all the food. We can forage. And if you do your job, you'll be back here before we starve. Okay. I'll get Star and Mitchell and go. Take care of him. We will. See, we have a fire area in there. 
that will vent out the corner but reflect off those rocks for heat at night. Sergeant Walker is going to need that. Over there is a natural cave. It will sleep at least four of us at a time. And don't worry, we've been smoking it out to make sure there are no varmints, bees, or hornets. Perfect, Vince. It looks perfect. Come on, Kim made us some food. Here you go, Erica. Thank you. I made it myself. Well, start shipping out. I'm sure it'll be great. This is crazy, Erica. I can't believe this. I let you talk me into this. One trip beyond those gates and Mom. look at us. Mom. No, Erica. This time we are in deep. We have no soldiers here and no one knows what to do. No one knows what to do? Really, Mom? I know exactly what to do. Well, you were all learning about fabrics, buildings, and soil. I was out getting my butt kicked and my head filled with emergency parameters. We can't lose it now. Now is the time when we have to pull together to get Sergeant Walker home and get back to the kids safely. Ooh, little killer back in the house again. Yeah, that's just what I'm afraid of. Shut up, Greg. Seriously, guys, let's assess our situation. Our mission is clear. We have to stay put until help gets here. I'm thinking five days at the most. We don't have enough food to last that long. I know, Kim. We had to send it with the runners. They'll burn more calories than us. But right now, I want to think about our location. What are the strengths and weaknesses? It's dusty and there's a lot of bugs. Penny, what am I missing? Here, take my chair. You look exhausted. Okay, where were we? Oh yeah, dust and bugs. Too darn many as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> what? Exactly what your daughter said. We've got a water source, but it's weird. What's weird? I'm not familiar with the patterns here, but it seems like the river's draining pretty quickly. Sergeant Bennett told me to be cautious of flash flooding. They can fill and drain rapidly. But it sure is beautiful, isn't it? It is, but one thing I do know, we can survive without food, but not without water. That needs to be a mission priority in the morning. Mom. What? I don't like our exposure to that mountain ridge over there. It's far out, Dax. Yeah, but with a good rifle, you could pick us off like ants. He's right. I agree. Another mission priority for the morning. Greg and Rob will head out with one of the rifles we do have to check it out. But it was my idea, Mom. I need you here to haul water. But they're stronger than me. Dex, you're not going, and that's it. Fine, whatever. One of the strengths is we won't have any sunlight for half the day. And if there are gunners up there, we can crawl into the cave. And we can move those big boulders in to shield us further. Then that's the plan once we get water and the perimeter secured. Kim? Yes, ma'am. I want you to scout for forageables to bolster our food supply. Meet me in the morning and I can teach you some that Bennett taught me. Will do. Chattanooga is a perfect town for us. Hospital, prison, and a thriving marketplace. I tracked a lot of refugees here, TJ. Malik is never happy to have us in town. Let's see what we can do about that. I'll go let him know that we're here. Good. Why don't we have a drink at the bar while we wait? Let's keep our focus, brother. We'll be back on the road before long. Stop with your worrying, Sergey. Come on, Yuri. Let's go. TJ Swenson, sir. What an honor it is to have you in our town. It's a pleasure to be here, beautiful. That's awfully generous, sir. Let me show you and your friends to a table. 
We'll take the one in the back corner. This one's reserved for... We'll take it. Yes, sir. Follow me. Darling, I'll follow you anywhere. <laughs> Aren't you a charmer? He just likes looking at your ass. <laughs> What will you have? Whiskey and vodka. I'll be right back. Are you TJ Swinson, leader of the Black Shirts? That's what they call me. I sure could use your help. What's the problem? The damn refugee railroad is running straight through my town somewhere. We've lost five families this month. Replacing them has set us back considerably on our quotas. Sounds like a personal problem. I'm prepared to pay a considerable sum to retrieve the families and send men to find these traitors in my community. What did Malik say? That I don't have enough men to guard the trade center here and complete all the retrievers I have already booked. Mr. Angel comes just going to have to wait like everyone else. Lucky I came here when I did then. And you are? T.J. Swenson. And you are? Malik Mardar. I have heard of your compound up north. Your black shirts come in and out of my town, acting like they own the place. They have direct authority from Commander Gray and Colonel Henderson. Which is the only reason I tolerate your presence. What kind of leader wouldn't come and ask permission himself? One with the authority to do as he pleases. You? Malik, we're getting off on the wrong foot. Sit down. Have a drink. I would, but you're in my chair. Choose another one and sit down. Yuri, pour the man a drink. You have a considerable operation here, Malik, but your people are thin and in need of assistance. My people know their place, and they eat the rations I provide. Your citizens are willing to give you more to help them, and you put them on a list? It sounds like you're overwhelmed. Ask for help, and ye shall receive. The only reason my schedule is being tasked is because of Commander Gray's request. Let me put it straight, Malik. I plan on making us both a lot of money. If your man Angel there had a stock to buy, he'd be spending his credits here. I'm going to facilitate a new alliance with the cartels in Mexico. My stock will flow through here, and you'll gain more power in every step along the way. What are you going to do for me? I'm going to provide you with a safe town to do this in. After all, this is my territory. Wrong. The Federal soldiers and black shirts will do that. Not in my town. Yes. In your town and your men are to follow their orders. You bring this insult of an offer to my table? We can always find someone else to manage this town. My force is strong. We can fight. Your fighters are just as thin as the rest of your people. Sergey, how long could they last against a force of feds and black shirts? We'd be home before lunch, TJ. Are you really prepared to fight us on this, Malik? enjoy a quick word from our sponsors hey everyone this is dale and lisa from survivalistprepper.net i played the voice of lautner and i played the voice of carol and star over at survivalist prepper we have the podcast and i also have a new podcast that i'm doing with brian duff called the duff and dale show and you can find me on my youtube channel the budget equestrian Hi, this is Sarah F. Hathaway, the creator of the Changing Earth series and the voice of Erica Morse. Visit ChangingEarthSeries.com to explore the novels behind the drama and the survival knowledge behind the stories. Join the Changing Earth membership program and get one week early access to the show. We appreciate you helping the Changing Earth world go round. Visit us at www.ChangingEarthSeries.com. That's www.changingearthseries.com. 
Hello, everyone out there in Internet Radio Land. This is Dave Jones, the NBC guy. And have I got a deal for you. Everybody that listens to Sarah's audio drama gets a special deal from me on Mira Safety Products. These are top quality protective gear used by armies around the world. You can only get that deal by emailing me at NBCGuy at ProtonMail.com. I'm quite concerned about what's coming next. Personally, I think we'll probably see food shortages and other disruptions. Are you prepared if things go wrong? Does your family have enough food and supplies on hand to last at least 30 days? If not, the time to prepare is right now. Don't wait another minute. To help you on your journey, I recommend My Patriot Supply. They're the leaders in self-reliance, and they have a four-week supply of emergency food that lasts up to 25 years in storage, so you never have to worry again. Don't put your family through the pain of hunger or standing in government food lines. Go to preparewithchangingearth.com today, and your emergency food will be shipped quickly and discreetly to your door. Those who know what's coming are using today to prepare. So visit preparewithchangingearth.com, the original Patriot Preparedness Company. Their mission is your survival. That's preparewithchangingearth.com. And now back to the Changing Earth audio drama. Major Virgis, sir. This better be important. Sergeant Bennett is radioing for you. I'll be right back, Jennifer. You can take it in Dolores' radio room. Do you have something you want to tell me about, Monroe? How do you mean? Please don't. Chappie told you? Johnny let it slip. Why didn't you come tell me? That's great news, Tim. Yeah, it is. We'll talk about it later. Everybody, out of this room. This is Major Burgess. Major Burgess, sir, when is the last time you saw Erica and her family? At the camp after the battle, why? The refugee squads never returned. You don't think she would have run? Without her youngest son, not a chance. That woman is all about her family. I noticed. We're buckled down here for the night, but I can send crews in the morning. I'll start looking from my direction. Have you talked to the general lately? Not really. Why? I'm still curious about her past. A big chunk of her file is missing. Is it confidential? No, it's literally missing, and we need to know why. I'll contact him first thing in the morning as well. We'll be in touch tomorrow. Hey, Bennett? If you ever thought about leaving the feds and joining with the mercs, I could get you ranked here. <laughs> Nickel had tried for years to get me to go private, and normally I would say no without a thought. But? But Erica, meeting her and experiencing her passion to restore her country, I don't know. But what I do know is I have to find her, and the best way to do that is with federal resources I have at my fingertips. Wise decision, my friend. We'll keep in touch. Everything okay, Major? Get Chappie and meet me upstairs. Yes, sir. Chappie, I want you to put teams in place to organize storm cleanup without either of you here. Yes, sir. Erica's rescue team never returned to the camp. You don't think they jumped ship, do you? Bennett doesn't think so, and I don't either. I thought you weren't sure about this woman. And how's Cassidy going to feel about it? I know how difficult this is going to be, but Erica swayed Bennett's opinion. Mr. By the Book? That's a damn miracle in itself. Exactly. Beyond the fact that I think she can be the voice we need, 
If she can do that to Bennett, she's the one. Okay, then we'll mobilize the teams in the morning. Where are you going, Burgess? I need to meet with General McClintock. If Erica is the voice we need, we'll have to organize this without the help of the militia. That will be a trick. I haven't given up on them yet, but Eli pulled out. Sounds like you got your work cut out for you. Don't worry about Erica. We'll find her. I don't doubt that for a minute. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to enjoy this night before the games begin. They're called prickly pears for a reason. I'm so glad you came with me. We got so much more than I would have. You don't give yourself enough credit. Come on, let's get in late. Since we've been on the road, all the way to good times, we met a lot of good people. The good people. The good people. What? How was your day? It was great. You should have seen Erica with that rifle. We got seven of these monot things, and they have to be at least ten pounds apiece. Nice job, guys. What is going on? Dexter went with Greg and Rob this morning, and they are still not back. What? I didn't know until I met everyone at the river today, and by then it was too late to do anything about it. They were already gone. You were already gone, and there was work to be done. Okay. What are we going to do? I don't know what we can do except wait. Let's get cooking so when they get home, they'll have something in their tummies. It's gonna be okay. I hope so. Check this out. Oh, it's so cute. Plus, we got prickly pear fruit, stone crop greens, and... Raspberries! Real raspberries? Nice. But what the heck is stone crop? It's a little wild rock plant, but I've heard the greens taste like cucumbers, so we might as well add it to the stew. I also got mesquite chips and juniper berries to flavor the meat. I figure we can do some over the fire and do everything in a stew. How did you guys do with water? We did all right. All the jugs and containers we could fill are full. But? But I don't know why the river's suddenly gone bone dry. We won't be getting any more water from down there anytime soon. We'll have to ration and hope help will get here soon. Help is on the way. I've been in and out, I've been all around, I've been torn apart, I've been fixed once more. I've been trying to figure out this life. I've been kicked around, I've been left for dead I've been sick and tired, I've been heaven sent Hell, you know, I never felt so good But hey, I said hey But hey, I said hey Can anybody tell me what's going on? But hey, I said hey Please enjoy a quick word from our sponsors. Are you worried about how dangerous the world has become in these days of terrorist attacks, natural disasters, or even a future collapse? You need to be medically prepared to keep your family safe. I'm Joe Alton, MD of store.doomandbloom.net, where you'll find an entire line of uniquely designed medical kits and supplies for when health is not on the way. For everything from individual first aid kits to the ultimate family medical bag, go to store.doomandbloom.net today. You'll be glad you did. Prepper Broadcasting Network is nine dynamic hosts, seven podcasts a week, live shows, chat rooms, daily updates, all on prepping, survival, and patriotism. Visit PrepperBroadcasting.com for your dose of self-reliance and independence. Hi, this is Jane Austen, otherwise known as Survivor Jane, and the voice of Dolores Chapman. I'd like to invite you to my website, SurvivorJane.com, where I write in a conversational tone on topics of how better to prepare yourself and family. You can also find links to my books, What Could Possibly Go Wrong, Emergency Survival Hygiene, and my game book, Puzzling Over Preparedness. 
You can also find information on Prepper Camp, the largest three-day preparedness event in the country every fall, hosted by myself and my husband, Rick Austin. Disaster Coffee is fueling disaster relief in America. Our coffee is roasted to order and shipped to your front door. You cannot get it any fresher. Visit DisasterCoffee.com and caffeinate with a purpose. That's DisasterCoffee.com. And now back to the Changing Earth audio drama. Thanks for facilitating this meeting, Jimmy. Not a problem, TJ. If business is good for you, it's good for me. This transport is a nice way to travel. Well, you got it all tricked out. I'd have to line it in gold, though. No sense in not being comfortable along the way. Tell me about this trading center in Chattanooga. You want to make exchanges there? You don't have a problem running the stock to your compound. We need to increase numbers again. If we use Chattanooga, you won't have to travel as far, and neither will the caravans from Mexico. I don't trust the man in charge there. We've had problems with his fighters before. Malik? He won't be a concern. How do you know? Because I already met with him and informed him that my fighters and the feds are controlling his city now. Nah, to take that. He's happy to have his men freed up to track bounties and do more roundups. He'll be put to work. Really? He's okay with giving up his city? I assured him it was in his best interest to do so. <laughs> I'll bet you did. My men will make sure your people are taken care of. Don't worry about Malik. I'll deal with him if he needs to be dealt with. DJ, we're crossing the border now. We'll be there shortly. Good. Let's get this done. Stay here for a minute. Make it quick. You three, clear the left. You three, the right. Your gringo can't defend himself. His brothers don't trust anyone. With Russian guards, I understand why. Humberto, how much are the giant Ruskies going for on the market today? Mucho dinero, senor. Mucho. It's clear, TJ. Now there's a gringo I can do business with. TJ Swenson. Esteban Salvador. Word of your expertise and your black short force has traveled, my friend. Precision is what I do. Step back. Do not touch him. Oh, touchy, touchy. I thought you said he could take care of himself. I call her Sheila, and trust me, you would be so cocky if she took care of you instead of Sergei. Humberto, how much do you think the notorious T.J. Swenson would go for on the market? No, I would never work another day again. Are we going to talk about business or stand here, yanking our chains all day? You're not in chains yet. Come on. The boss wants to see you. Come on. TJ, let me... Sergey, it's fine. <sighs> TJ Swenson, mi hermanito's gringo friend. Jose? Jose, is that you? It's been a long time, amigo. It sure has. Sounds like you've been busy. I had to survive to keep Mr. Lee alive. <laughs> that old buzzard still kicking? He is. Still training the finest fighters in North America. Oh, you think so? Esteban may take offense to that. You have that loud mouth training your men? He's good at what he does. Have a seat. I see you're still supporting that whip. Just like Javier. Where is he? 
He couldn't come. My mother's ailing and begged Javier to stay at her side. He's a good boy. But it pained him greatly. I didn't know if I would ever see him again. I heard you're the general's dog. I'm sure you can get us a pass to visit. I'm sure I can arrange that. Let me set it up and we'll make it happen. What about the trade route? You're going to make me a rich man, DJ. Do you know what the almighty Americans will sell for in southern markets? Who would have thought that the people that once dominated the planet would be nothing more than slave labor? <laughs> All I need is food and clothes for my people. Who cares about wealth now? No, DJ. Money has never motivated you, but I know it's the power that you see. With this route established, I'll control traffic in all North America. You'll guarantee the safety of those northern caravans, and I'll protect those in Mexico. Only slaves and goods cross the border. I'll ensure my routes are safe if you handle yours. It's a deal, then. Business will be good. With a steady flow of supplies, I can step up the collections. Make it happen. Now that business is settled, let's settle on the debate. You pick the three of your best fighters and I'll do the same. Five minute rounds? Cinco. Five minute rounds per fight. There are champions, right? Best of three gets bragging rights and those two fine ass women over there. I have just the men in mind. Come on, amigo! I brought my finest whiskey for you. I know you hate tequila. Man, it's good to see you. It's opening up. Dark forward, get cold. Let go and come down. Let go and come down. This place is amazing, sir. Our country needed a capital, right? The outer walls are massive, and I can't believe how they built the city into these huge bowls in the ground. They're all on gigantic ball bearings, so the bowls can be moved in the quakes. Have you seen them? I have. There's a whole network of tunnels that allow security to travel quickly from area to area. Plus, the tops closed during the storms or tornadoes. The tunnels provide an alternate escape route? That's right. In the center, it's a bowl. Not as big as the city bowls. The whole top is glass, and the walls are lined with seats. That's where the meeting and community events occur. It's awesome. It really is, but it was built on the backs of a lot of refugees. Sir, General McClintock will see you and his son now. It's about damn time. Lead the way, soldier. Major Burgess and your son, sir. Johnny, it's so good to see you, son. Hi, Dad. Do you mind waiting outside until we're done? Whatever. Thanks, son. Major Burgess, come in and sit down. Major General Barnes, I wasn't expecting to see you here today. These are delicate topics we speak of here today. The entire leadership of our forces need to agree, or we're lost. What news do you have, Virgis? Why come yourself? As the Major General says, these are delicate matters that just got more complicated. I heard that William Baker was killed. Was it the Feds? No, his death was completely accidental. He was killed by a refugee woman. How? A soldier uncovered a trap door. When he opened it, William had the drop on the soldier. The woman was part of the Federal Rescue Squad. She grabbed the soldier's sidearm and killed William. It's a damn shame. He was starting to win a lot of cases and sway a lot of public opinion. The woman that did it is the lone survivor. The one from the story all the refugees pass around? They call her the savior of the refugees. You're not buying into that crap. It's just a story. Even if it was just a story, it's the momentum of the story we need. But it is more than a story. I've met her. 
She is everything the story says she is, and much more. What do you plan on doing with her? She's strong enough to rally the people. How can we get her voice out there without William? His supporters are already questioning their loyalty to our cause. Is that all the news you have? William's daughter has been arrested. She's being held in Las Vegas. I know you care for her, Virgis, but we can't do anything for her, or there'll be a war for sure. What if I could arrange to get her out without our involvement being known? If you get caught, we can't go to bat for you. You both know we have to make a move sooner or later. Our force is strong enough to stand against them. Finally, something I agree with. I think we should free the Appalachian area first. The Appalachian Islands has a line of battleships that patrol it. Only in the south. The Mississippi Sea is much too shallow in the north. You two are already talking about all that war. Why not let Erica try first? I don't want another civil war in this country. But we all agree something must be done. At least check her out before you dismiss the idea. <sighs> I suppose we can give it that. Let's reconvene tomorrow. We'll make our decision then. You two are dismissed. Sir, your son? Tell him I'll be out in a moment. Do you want him to come in, sir? Yeah, I'll be there in a moment, Virgis. Yes, sir. Does he want me to go in? No, he said I'll be out in a minute. Whatever. I'm going back to the room. Just wait for him. No, Virgis. I'm done waiting for him. Don't you understand? That's why I left. I'm done. Then let's go back to the room and have ourselves a beer. Sounds good to me. What's the point in trying if you hold it back? I see no reason to stay when you do me like that. Thanks for stopping by and listening to the Changing Earth audio drama. Hope you enjoyed the adventure. This content is copyrighted in 2021 by author Sarah F. Hathaway. For a list of performers, music, and noise attributes, head on over to www.authorsarahfhathaway.com backslash changing earth. That's www.authorsarahfhathaway.com backslash changing earth. Special thanks to Zapsplat, freesound.com, and freemusicarchives.com for all the work that they do, providing great resources for free music and sounds. Without them, this project would not be possible. Much love to all of my volunteer performers who put hours in designing the characters that you love. We'll see you next time on the Changing Earth Audio Guide. Cheers.